going on YouTube it's been a minute uh, welcome back to CT fishing um, just making a short little video this week I know it's been a while but my kid I work almost full-time job pretty much 35 hours a week I'm also a full-time student sophomore in college so it's kind of tough to make these videos like I outputted them in the summer it was like two a week it's i'm gonna get lucky to get out one a week so i want to kick things back going again and just reach about 500 subscribers so that's something pretty cool something that 12 year old me would be pretty amped about which i am pretty amped about it's pretty cool so that's what's eager me on to start this back up and i want to get things going so i'm just going to do a little short video for you guys today just do a little rod and reel arsenal of what i got it's fall 2023 and i'll throw in some pictures of some fish i've caught this summer that i haven't taken the gopro with me on those trips but I need to get back in the habit of just taking the GoPro every single place I go fishing. So I'm going to start doing that again, and I'll get some videos pumped out for you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, guys. So this is probably pretty crazy. How many? I'm not sure how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve right now. It's probably not going to stop growing anytime soon. So this is what I've accumulated over since I started fishing about summer sixth grade. I'm now a sophomore in college. So quite quite a few rods in our quiver so first off to start off we got a classic just bass pro shop 66 medium heavy if you can't tell we're quite the fan of shimano slx's and shimano in general so got a shimano slx on there 15 pound fluorocarbon this is kind of my dad's workhorse bay caster he does whatever he wants to on there kind of all willy-nilly with it but gets the job done and just got this new rod it's a falcon evo seven foot heavy and just put a new brand a brand new slx on that rod as well so gonna get that thing in action soon not sure what i'm really planning on using it for probably a little top water or some jigs and stuff like that so then we also have a right here seven foot three jacob wheeler ducket fishing signature series rod so you can tell like those rods quite a bit all three of them are paired with the black and blue slx's but on the seven three heavy I'm throwing jigs most of the time on that. I've been smoking them on that six inch divine jig. At the end of this video, I'll throw in some clips of stuff you guys missed out on this summer just because I was too lazy to bring the GoPro and had excuses. So blah, blah, but moving on. Got a seven foot medium heavy, tried and true workhorse rod for me. The Jacob Wheeler series with that SLX on there. And then I have a 610 medium. It's my jerk bait and like top water popper and spook rod and stuff like that so i use those guys on there for that jacob wheeler series and right next to it this is a brute the mojo bass purple rod right there this is a classic st croix st croix rod compared to the shimano Corrado dc thing's awesome it's my chatterbait rod this rod caught my pb this spring caught a seven pounder for me you guys can check that video out if you want then we have two dobbins furies we have seven foot medium heavy I using crankbaits on it because I ordered this originally to like flip Texas rigs and stuff like that but it's kind of a little on the lighter side so I've kind of made that my crankbait rod it's kind of more of a medium really than a medium heavy then the other Dobbins Fury we have is a 795 swim bait rod as you can tell by the massive handle it's got the old classic green Corrado 200 E7 with a uh, clash on there from DRT and moving on we've got a bass pro seven foot two medium with a old team dial reel my dad used to have and he likes it trying true use that for deep cranks and stuff like that over the summertime when them fish are down deep in them pools then right next to it we have a seven three heavy pro qualifier from bass pro with a just old bass pro workhorse reel use it for frogging to tell i got 60 pound braid on there a nice old pro frog then we have the two brutes the two fairy wands as people call them but these are six six medium heavies i have a stupid tube on mine and my dad is cinco on his and so these guys are in our hands most of the time but we try to use them all throughout as you can tell we have quite a few but not going to stop anytime soon so like i was saying guys thanks for stopping back by i know it's been a while but we're hoping to start this back up and uh, try and pump out a video every week or two so stay tuned